Ready? never go rock climbing because it seems way too dangerous. But the truth, the truth is that it's super fun, a great workout, and it's safe. So obviously I'm going to be talking about indoor top rope rock climbing. Um, my research is topic for two weeks now and I have two years of experience rock climbing. Um, so surely all of us attempt to uh, stay in shape, of course. Sometimes our routine workouts can get really boring and, you know, we don't get too enthusiastic about working out. So, but with rock climbing, the routine or the routes are always changing and it's always self-charging. So today I will discuss the equipment needed to rock climb, how to properly maneuver the gear and which grade is best for you. So for starters, I will review what is the equipment required in order to partake in indoor rock climbing. So all of the following gear right here can be bought online or it can be rented at the rock climbing warehouse that you go to. So the gear needed is as follows. So there's shoes. There's five types of shoes, but there are three most popular shoes. These are all-around shoes. They're um, for beginners. They're the most comfortable, even though they're like super tight. Um, then there's sport bouldering shoes, and they have an exaggerated asymmetrical toe box, so kind of like this one, but a little bit more. Um, these are designed to drive power into your big toe. The main goal of these shoes is to maximize edging on the hidden foot. And then the last shoe is trad shoes. Many of the trad routes out there involve climbing in cracks. And a crack is just, it's kind of like, it's just like a huge crack in a big wall. And you have like no rocks to like hang on to. So you have to use your inner arms and your legs and of course your, your feet. Um, so the trad shoes allow comfort but have a stiff sole to allow the foot to be put comfortably in a crack. So the next is a green green. So this is used as a conventional belay device with a cam, which is this, to give or take a slack from the rope by sliding through. And then we have a carabiner. So this is a large carabiner, and this is a small carabiner. So these are used for locking in your green green. So you lock in your carabiner to your green, and then you can use a smaller carabiner to attach your chalk bag to your harness. Um, and then, of course, most important, your harness. So your climbing harness is a key piece of equipment for top rope, leading, and sport rock climbing. The right harness improves both performance and safety. There are child harnesses, which um, as you saw, it's like a full body harness. And then there's a more challenging one, which, which is just a chest harness. So, and then you have white medical tape. It's not like an official, it's not like an official piece of equipment, but it helps to prevent blisters. And then your chalk bag. So chalk is used to keep moisture from your hand when you're climbing. So now that you know of the equipment that is required, it's time to demonstrate how to use it properly. So in order to become a successful climber, it's crucial to know how to properly maneuver the equipment regardless of how tedious learning to use it can be. So your shoes, the tighter the better, of course. Um, if a climber could rock climb barefoot, they would because it's that much easier to put into cracks and they would eventually go with the cows on their feet. Um, your Grigri, so before beginning to climb,
right? You have to put her in a row. So, I don't have a row, but I can show you how to use the cream. Okay, so this has a little illustration right here. So you open up your plate, you take the climbers. So, okay, here's the illustration. This is the climber. You open up your plate, and the person climbing, you put their, you slide their rope in through here, and then out through here is for your break hand. Then you close your plate, you take your large carabiner, put it through, and through your harness, and then you lock it until you can't see the red line on there anymore. And so in a situation where a climber is about to fall and someone doesn't know how to lay properly, which is why they fall, um, they, the force of their fall will pull the cam up, pinching the rope, so that they won't be harmed when they fall. Jacqueline, what did you think? version of the form. I don't really want that. Hang on a second. All right. Uh, you need a better introduction for the video clip at the beginning, and you need some narration for the video clip because it goes on for a while without us hearing anything about